my chickens. In this video, we're going to solve a hard linear problem. I know it's really difficult to imagine what, when there is a hard linear problem, but I think I came up with a pretty good example for you. So this is qu question number 35. Feel free to use a calculator if you want to. And they're giving you an equation of a line, which is in a messy way, not in a uh, slope intercept form, not in a point slope form. It's kind of like in a general form. And they're telling you that this line and uh, line W are parallel. What does that mean? They're going to have the same slope. And then they're telling you that W passes through point negative 3, 8. What is the value of the y-intercept of line W? Easy breezy. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to rearrange line T to find its slope. 7y is equal to negative 4x plus 14. Next step, we're going to divide everything by 7. y is equal to negative 4 over 7. x, I really don't care about the y-intercept, but, you know, it's 2. Um, now, I'm going to grab this slope, negative 4 over 7, and I'm going to now plug it into the new equation, the equation of the line w. That equation is going to begin with y minus 8 is equal to negative 4 over 7 x plus 3. Why did I just do that? I did this because I wanted to show you how to use a point uh, slope formula. Now, they're asking you for the y-intercept. Who is your y-intercept? Y-intercept is when your x is equal to 0. Can we calculate that? I bet. So. You can either use your, you either use your calculator. So I, I'm going to replace x with zero. I'm just going to change color. Let's see, disgusting green. So now x is zero will help us to find the value of y. Y is equal to negative four seventh times three because zero plus three is usually three plus eight. I am going to use a calculator. I don't want to embarrass myself. Uh, negative 4 seventh times 3 plus 8. And that is going to be, I'm going to do this in a fraction if I can. I'm going to use the math frac function. And that is 44 seventh. Or you can say that this is. What is the value of the y-intercept? And this is a grid in question. So you could grid in. Um, yeah, I think 44 seventh is the only answer choice that works here.